Welcome to another geometry video from ultimatealgebra.com. In this video, we will start our lesson on triangles. This is going to be purely theory, no calculations, but it's important you go through it because knowing the properties helps in solving questions. A triangle is a plane figure with three sides and three angles. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So in this figure angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. This statement, in my opinion, is the most important in triangles. There are several ways of naming triangles. We can name a triangle based on the number of sides or angles that are equal. These are equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and scalene triangle. Let's start with the properties of the equilateral triangle. This figure here is an equilateral triangle. All the sides are equal. Now in geometry, we can use same line on each side to represent that the sides are equal. So here, this mark on all three sides tells us that they are equal. We could have used two lines, provided the marks are the same. Please take note of this because you might not always be told that the sides are equal. All angles are equal. Because all the angles are equal, and all the three angles must add up to 180 degrees, it implies that each interior angle is 60 degrees. Let's show it on the figure. It has three lines of symmetry. A line of symmetry is basically a line that divides a figure into two mirror images. So in this figure, we can see that if we draw a line through it this way, then this side A will be a mirror image of this side B. We will get a mirror image if we draw a line through this side and get a mirror image if we draw a line through here also. Before we go on, let me stress on the importance of remembering the properties that we are learning. The difficulty in geometry is remembering the properties. Once you can remember the properties, you just need simple arithmetic and algebra to get the answer right. Okay, enough of the advice. Let's look at the properties of the isosceles triangle. This figure here is an isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal. Notice that we used single bar to represent the equal sides. Two angles are equal. Here, these two angles are equal. The equal angles are always where the two equal sides meet the third side. Or we can say that the equal angles are always at the ends of this other line. It has one line of symmetry. This is the line of symmetry. Please take note of the properties here. Finally, let's look at the properties of the scalene triangle. This figure is a scalene triangle. No equal sides, no equal angles, no line of symmetry. So basically a scalene triangle has nothing being equal. Let's move on. We said earlier that triangles can be named in several ways. Another way of naming triangles is by its interior angles. We have 1. The acute triangle. Here is the figure. This triangle has all its interior angles being less than 90 degrees. These are examples. None of the angles is more than 90 degrees. Notice that the equilateral triangle we learned about earlier is also an acute triangle because all its angles are less than 90 degrees. 2 the right triangle. Here is the figure. This triangle has one of its interior angle being equal to 90 degrees. This triangle is very important in geometry. We will learn more about it in later lessons. 3. The obtuse triangle. Here is the figure. The obtuse triangle has one of its interior angles being greater than 90 degrees. In this figure, although we have two angles that are less than 90 degrees, it is still an obtuse triangle because of this angle, which is greater than 90 degrees. These are other examples. Let's end this video here. In the next video, we will start solving questions with information just learned. Have a great day. See you in the next lesson.